ERC, quality service since 1972. Repairing TVs, console stereos, electronic musical instruments, pinball machines, arcade games, and more. Call 836-0454. Brian Peters with you for this January the 2nd, Friday, Weather Extreme video. And let's go ahead and check out the Skycam images this morning. And yes, after that beautiful blue sky yesterday with some beautiful cirrus yesterday afternoon, we're under cloudy skies this morning and a little band of uh, light rain and some showery precipitation moving through the state of Alabama. This is a view from Clanton as we're looking off to the south. And I just love these shots set down at Demopolis, especially when we can catch one of the tow boats. And there's one of them right there, of course, catching the cloudy sky. And Chiha, yep, if you got clouds, Chiha being the highest point in the state of Alabama, they're in the clouds. The surface map uh, doesn't really uh, show the warm front very well, but I think there's a warm front moving through the state of Alabama. And uh, in the upper atmosphere, we can see that the trough is beginning to develop over the eastern half of the country. Uh, something we've been advertising here for quite some time. Temperatures still relatively mild across the United States, but look at all of that cold weather on the other side of the border there in Canada. Some of those minus 44 values, ouch, that is cold air, and that's going to break loose, it looks like, for the latter part of next week. In the meantime, this morning, temperatures generally in the 40s across central Alabama, I noticed uh, Tuscaloosa 51, so still uh, very, very mild for this time of year. Here's the radar image uh, over the southeastern U.S. and a little bit of band of rain. Not not very much. I think probably if you get a tenth of an inch or so, maybe, uh, maybe 15 hundredths of an inch, that will be fairly lucky. Now, QPF-wise, we're headed in for a bit of a wet period all the way through about, let's see, at least through about next Tuesday or perhaps early Wednesday before the cold air gets here and we uh, dry out, and certainly uh, on the order of uh, maybe as much as uh, one and a half to two inches, uh, especially across the northwestern part of the state. And also the possibility of severe weather. Here's the day two outlook, uh, which is tomorrow, and it looks like the main threat is going to be down along the uh, central Gulf Coast, extending from uh, extreme southeast Texas, across much of Louisiana, the southern half of Mississippi, and a little uh, nibble out of the southwest corner of Alabama. Now, on day five, now there are differences here, so keep that in mind, but on day five, which is Tuesday, we're looking at the possibility of a fairly significant uh, severe weather event. And uh, there are differences in the models, uh, and still this far out, of course, there's always questions and uncertainties about instability, uh, but the the uh, European seems to be uh, a little more consistent and a little stronger than what you're going to see on the GFS, so just uh, keep that in mind. All right, let's get to the 06Z GFS, and here's our surface chart for today at midday, and you can see kind of a showery, uh, not, not a lot of forcing, but uh, certainly uh, enough to produce some showers across the area, but again, rainfall relatively light. Uh, by tomorrow at midday, we see a trough headed our way from the west, and I think overnight we'll probably dry out, or at least uh, the precipitation will die off. But uh, the precipitation comes back on uh, Saturday as that front comes through, and of course uh, the possibility of severe weather along the Gulf Coast. The, the weather will probably dry out Sunday morning again, and I think Sunday uh, we'll see a lot of clouds, but I think we'll be relatively uh, rain-free. On Monday, here comes that uh, big southern trough across uh, uh, Old Mexico and parts of uh, New Mexico and Texas, and that's going to be generating a surface low. Again, keep in mind that the European was a little stronger. Here's the uh, 500 millibar pattern for Tuesday, and one little piece of energy is uh, moving out across the uh, Tennessee, Kentucky area, but the main the main short wave is still back in Oklahoma and Texas, and that's going to bring uh, a nice round of uh, storms. And it looks like the possibility of that severe weather, the surface low again on the GFS, not as strong as what the uh, European is indicating. The trough uh, comes through, or, or pretty much gets on the Alabama Mississippi line by uh, the midday on Wednesday, and that should dry things out. But also look at what happens as the uh, two southern and northern streams phase, and that drops those five, uh, drops that cold air in, the 540 line down uh, almost, uh, well, almost to Mobile, but uh, in the vicinity of Hattiesburg. And then by Thursday, the 540 line dipping all the way down to near Gainesville, Florida, and certainly down to Apalachicola. So uh, we're in for a cold snap, if you will. 
the pattern seems to uh, moderate just a little bit, uh, uh, not quite the, the depth, uh, the amplitude that we saw uh, yesterday, but that's all right. Uh, here is uh, what it looks like for the surface pattern, and we should be dry on uh, Friday, a week from today. And uh, then for Saturday, the, another shot of cold air and, and another trough drops in, and uh, that looks like another wet pattern for us around the 10th and the possibility of, once again, uh, the 9th, 10th kind of, of time frame, the possibility of some winter weather somewhere in the southeastern U.S. All right, let's get out into voodoo land, and uh, the pattern does uh, moderate just a little bit. Uh, you can see that it's not flattens out, but the uh, main storm track a little further to the north, and we should stay dry around the 14th. And then uh, we're still under that northwesterly flow and little uh, pieces of energy coming through like that little short wave over the Texas panhandle. Uh, but uh, again, that keeps us relatively dry. Well, we appreciate you tuning in to the Weather Extreme video. I expect to have the next one posted tomorrow morning around uh, 730 or 8. Hope that you have a great end to the week and a great upcoming weekend. Godspeed. Thank you.